What's going on guys, so all of you here, welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have just released the new League Un Player of the Month card and it is going to be Benyeda to review today and as expected he is looking very nice. He's got a 5 star weak foot with 4 star skill moves, right footed with high low work rates and he is a 5 foot 7 player. The card itself is an 89 overall with 87 pace, 93 dribbling, 89 shooting, 85 passing and 74 physicals and he can play in 2 positions, the striker and centre forward position that are requirements for this player SBC is an 87, 85 and an 83 rated team altogether it is coming up to 300k. Now the chem style that I've decided to go for is the Hunter chem style. The Hunter chem style on this card looks amazing because of that massive increase you give to his pace. 95 acceleration, 95 sprint speed with a Hunter chem style is beautiful especially in that striker position. But if you are a person that feels like you go for a lot of long shots, you go for a lot of like outside foot shots, I would recommend the Hawk chem style just to get the long shots a little bit higher the shooting on the card with the Hunter chem style is incredible apart from the long shots and he has got the outside foot shot trait as well the passing it looks like your average striker passing short passing very good long passing not so great dribbling on the card looks great physicals 79 stamina not anything uh, special probably a card that's gonna last until like the 80th minute but then you're gonna have to sub him off the strength as well isn't great, but you don't really expect Ben Yedda to have a lot of strength. He's not that kind of player to hold players off or anything like that. It's great to see, though, he has got 85 jumping and 82 heading accuracy because it means you are also going to get a heading ability from him. Now, if we are comparing this card to the Centaurian card, we are looking at the exact same overall. And if we're looking at the, the face card stats, pace, the exact same. Dribbling, the exact same. Shooting, the exact same. This card has got plus one passing, while the other card has got plus one physicals. But if we're actually looking at the in-games, we're looking at a plus five to passing on the other card. And we are also looking at a finesse shot trait on the other card, while this card only has the outside foot shot trait. Other than that, it's not like a massive difference. We're looking at like plus one to uh, pace on the other card, plus one to the agility and balance on the other card as well. And everything apart from long passing on this card is plus one. So it's not a massive difference compared to the Centaurian card, but plus five long passing. Oh yeah, you're definitely going to notice a difference between the two when going for overtop through balls. And obviously the finesse shot trait is always nice to have, and especially a player like Ben Yedder, but this card has not got the finesse shot trait. Now Lynx, French, Ligon, I don't need to say anything else. You guys already know the links on Ben Yedder are incredible positions. I will be playing him in one position and one position only, and it is that striker position. So let's get into the games and let's see how good the new League and Player of the Month card is going to be. Get that ball, Zacharia. Oh, okay. We did eventually come out of it. I see Mbappe trying to be aggressive. I'm looking for options. I'm going to actually just pass it all the way up to DRB. Give it short to Yedda. Nice R1 dribble. DRB. That's a good run. And that is a good finish from DRB as well. Ben Yedda's positioning there. Very, very nice. Just kind of seeing in front of the defensive line. Just waiting to receive the ball. And his R1 dribble came off really well as well. I'm just going to ball roll scoop in the space. Mbappe trying to give me that option. He does give me that option. Great touch. Great turn as well from Yedda. It's just... I am so surprised how fast Van der Sar got out to us there. Like, that is ridiculous. It's good positioning from Yedda. Like, everything Yedda done there was nice. It's just, yeah, it's a great save. Mbappe made that run. There you go. Now we've got space to run into. He's pushed over with Kula Bali. He's trying to take us out. Short. Extra pass because he's made a good run. And that allows us just to hit that first time towards a near post. And we do end up scoring it. Head that on, Cancelo. There you go. Through the gap. Perfect. Into Yedda. Ball roll away from the player. And I'm going to go for it just to see if it was going to go in from that angle. Because we all know Ben Yedda's shooting ability has always been nice. Even on every other card that he's got, it's been solid. It's just I wanted to see if it was going to go in from uh, from that angle. Keep that on, Diaby. There you go. Pass it there. Nice skill move. That's beautiful. Look at her footwork. Look at the footwork. Look how he's keeping the ball close to his feet, allowing me to go for these quick turns. And it's a great finish again. Play that ball. No, he was making such a good run as well. He's still on side. Chip him. No, we green timed it. Van der Sar gets out the players ridiculously quick. Like he's there instantly. Back okay to pass this. There you go. I'm going to go for it again. Let's see. Ben Yedda, edge of the box. No, we end up hitting a crossbar. I did miss time it. I do feel like if I did green time it, we probably have a goal here. Nice turn. Look at that. Look at the touches. 
Nah, I tried to go through the space there. The touches again, though. The dribbling, the R1 dribbling to be exact. Amazing. Pass it across to Torum. Now I need options. The RB. Back to Torum. To Yedda. Oh, I could have gone for that pass. Nice control, though. Look at that. Look at that burb spin just to go through the space there. Ben Yedda, flick it on as well. Nice. Miggy spin cancel. Back into Zakaria. Into Yedda. La Coqueta. Nah, I'm trying to do put like amazing plays here. It was a nice passing play. It's just I should have kept it a bit more simple with Yedda. Can I get in front of him here? Yes, I can. No way he takes me out. I was about to play that pass up. Yedda? Why not? 83 free kick accuracy. He's got 89 curve with 93 shot power. We're going to give it a go. Let's see if this is going to go in. I need to get this perfect if it's going to go in. He's moved the keeper as well. I feel like this is decent. Yeah, that is decent. I need a good amount of power because it's quite far out. Green timed. We did green time it and it nearly sneaked in. Inside pass to him. There you go. Not really a tough angle. Him having a five-star week for an error thing. I'm expecting that to go in. Make that overlap can settle. There you go. We're just going to run here. Just keep it going. I see the RB inside there, but yeah, no shot. I get him the ball. I can get him the ball here, though. What a run that is from Yedda. Step overs. We got an angle. No, we green timed it as well. I can give it back to him. Fake shot that. No shot. That's not a penalty. What a tackle from Akimi. Lacoqueta passed this. He didn't do it halfway through the Lacoqueta, but it doesn't matter. The RB. There you go. Ben Yedda. Just need to stay calm here. Get into the space. Nah, he was just holding Ramos the entire time. And Maldini came over and helped. Let's go for a switch of play here into Torum. I think I can just get a flick on in the middle. There you go. Ben Yedda. Round the corner. Get that pace going. No way. I was about to say, with the pressure of Ramos right next to him as well, he still got that shot off. If it went in, I would have been very surprised. I'm going to try to just get away from here. Let's go for the switch of play. All the way over to Cancelo. And it is a great pass. Keep going. We'll roll around the keeper and everything. He committed with the keeper. That's why the keeper went in like that. Honestly, if he didn't commit with the keeper... I do believe he just comes out and collects it because the touch wasn't great from Cancelo, but that pass from Yedda. He's in behind Diaby. Play it first time. There you go. Ben Yedda, go on. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm going to hit him with this. It didn't do anything. There you go. It finally did exactly what I wanted to do. No. I know it was jammy. It was very jammy, but there's no way Mbappe misses from there. Like, he should be scoring that. Ben Yedda, see what we can do here. Is he going to cover it? He doesn't. Finesse shot. Oh, okay. I was expecting the finesse shot with the weaker foot, but he wanted the outside foot. It, it wasn't that great of a shot, though. In with this real quick. Ben Yedda, fake shot. All roll. Got one. Green timed. Nah, we hit the crossbar again. Let's play a through ball. Yedda, I'm going to take the shot early. Got one. No, I green timed it as well. It's such a hard angle. We're kind of like going away from goal. And he's obviously getting put under pressure. That literally needed to go top corner to it to go in. There you go. Ben Yedis came short. I love his movement, man. His movement in that striker position. It's so nice to see because you can see he makes those runs when you want him to make the run. When there's a gap open so he can make that run. But there's so many times where he's just kind of like going all around the box. Trying to give you that passing option. Like you guys could clearly see where he was positioned there. He wasn't in the middle. He was on the left hand side to give me that passing option. Trying to take it calm. Let's go for another one of these over top through balls. And that is a great pass again over to Cancelo. Nice pass there. Torum. Torum. No. Mbappe. It's jammy. It's very lucky. But we get the goal. Go on, Mbappe. There you go. Ben Yedda's in. Go on, Ben Yedda. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. Should we go for the chip? You know what? I'm going to go for this. I did it the wrong way. It still went in. I did it the wrong way. I nearly screwed it up. But that finish, wow. First time pass that down low. There you go, DRB. Nice. Good pass. Let's go for the chip. Green timed. Is it over him? It is. And it's in the side netting. We'll roll. Give it inside. Torum, nice pass over to Yedda. R1 dribble that. There you go. I love that R1 like drag back with him. He's so quick and he keeps the ball so close to his feet once he does it. His long shots, you can definitely tell, is not that great. But you kind of expect that. With him having 79 long shots, you're not expecting every single one to go in. It's just you're definitely going to get one going in time to time. But yeah, we've hit the crossbar, what, twice now? And we miss a target there. 
We'll roll this. Haven't really got anyone to pass to right now. I'm just going to go try to stall it a little bit. There you go. Now we can pass it into Cancelo. Now we can pass it into Torum. Now Yedda. No. He was having a little like strength battle with Maldini there. That's when that strength in a striker position comes into play. Where you can kind of just... Ooh. 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 That's where the strength though comes into play. Where the strength will allow certain strikers to get in front of defenders and just kind of like hold them off. With Ben Yedda not having amazing strength, he wasn't able to get in front of Maldini. Ben Yedda, win that one. Oh, we challenged for Fana, and that's really all I can ask for. It's just nice to see that he has got that jumping ability. And if you need him to win a 50-50, yeah, he's not going to win it every single time. But at least he has a chance of winning it up in the air. You know, some five foot seven players, yeah, they have no chance. I see Jazinho. And that is another really nice pass. I'm actually impressed with his passing ability. It's been really solid. Like, I've been going for switches of plays to, like, Cancelo. I've gone, obviously, for that pass right there to Jairzinho. And I haven't really seen him screw up a pass. I'm just going to pass up to Jairzinho and to Yede again. Play that over the top. Good pass. Touch. Finish. That's beautiful. That is beautiful football. Just going for a 1-2 with Jairzinho, with Yede there. And that pass, again, is perfect. Can I get round Ramos here? I doubt it, but I'm going to try to pass it inside. Ben Yedda, good option. Nice R1 dribble round the keeper. And you see how he pretty much did that in one motion? That is how good his dribbling is. So my final thoughts on player of the month, Ben Yedda. I ended up playing five games. I scored seven goals with him and I also came out with three assists as well. His shooting ability inside the box is incredible as expected. I love the fact that he's got that five-star weak foot as well. It allows me to turn either side and know that it's going to be a very, very good shot inside that box. Long shots, you could clearly see the long shots wasn't really anything amazing. It's going to go in time to time because he has got 78 long shots. It's just in most cases, it's going to miss the target in most cases it is gonna get saved but yeah the shooting inside the box with him is incredible the pace on the card he isn't like an extremely fast player we're not talking about Mbappe kind of pace but he definitely isn't a slow player either the passing I honestly thought I was gonna notice a difference with the long passing between this card and the Centurion card I didn't notice a difference at all, which is weird because that card has got plus five long passing compared to this card. But you guys saw some of the passes he was playing to João Cancelo, some of the passes he was playing just over the top to Jairzinho. It was very, very nice, and it definitely felt better than 72 long passing. The dribbling on the card incredible as expected it is Ben Yedda at the end of the day he just feels so good on the ball the R1 dribbling the left stick dribbling the ball just sticks to him heading ability he's got an okay heading ability it is nice to see a player that is five foot seven have 85 jumping because there is a few 50 50s in the midfield that he actually does end up winning and that was great to see the stamina on the card honestly the stamina wasn't even too bad it's not amazing as I said at the start I do recommend subbing, subbing him off in like the 80th minute. But yeah, it's not bad at all. The strength on the card. The thing is with Yedda, right, is he does get a lot of jam. He does get a lot of rebounds going his way. And there's times that it definitely, he definitely feels like he's stronger than what it says on the card. Like 74 strength. You feel like in game he feels stronger. But then there's other times where you match up against Kula Bali. You match up against Virgil van Dijk. You get him into that shoulder to shoulder situation. And yeah, he just gets bullied out of the way. So yeah, there's times that he feels stronger than 74. But then there's other times that, yeah, he's just getting completely pushed to a side. The price of this card is 319,000 coins. Do I believe it's worth it? I think that's okay pricing. I don't think that's amazing value. But I do believe that's all right pricing. Saying that the other card goes for 330k. And honestly, they're the same card. They are the exact same card, boys. Like, I really thought I was going to notice a difference with the long passing. I honestly thought there was going to be a difference there. But there's not. There's not. The passes I saw today, it feels like this Yedda card has got 77 long passing. So the exact same long passing as the other card. So 319k, I don't believe that's bad pricing at all. Obviously, do it for to get the price down. And I do believe it is worth it. Keep in mind... It's a whole month. It's in there for a whole month. So you can take your time with it. You don't need to rush into it. What I will say, though, is if you have the coins, you want Ben Yedda in your team. Let's say you got, I don't know, 400k just chilling there. 
just go ahead and pick up the Centurion card because as I said, it is the exact same card in my opinion with how they perform in game. Now, where does this card go in the attacker's tier list? This card is going to go in the exact same tier as the Centurion card and that is the A plus tier. He's very, very good and that's why it's going in the A plus tier. But I don't believe he's on the strikers that is on the S tier level. I don't believe he is up there. But that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.